Howdy champs! My name is Mohit and people. Today I'm going to talk about uh, a plugin called ZenCode uh, that allows you to code your HTML and CSS real fast. I've already installed uh, the plugin as an extension uh, for Dreamweaver CS6. Let me show you something. Okay, uh, if you uh, Google up uh, the search words uh, Zen coding for Dreamweaver. You're going to end up uh, at a website which is going to give you this uh, Adobe extension package file. You're going to search for different uh, softwares, and in our case, the software is Dreamweaver CS6. You have, uh, you know, the Zen code uh, plugin available for Coda, for Sublime Text, for Notepad++. But uh, I just, ha uh, you know, I just had to Google the search words, uh, you know, Zen coding for Dreamweaver and the first link I just clicked out there and downloaded uh, this uh, 100 KB file and all you need to do is uh, once you have this 100 KB file which is of course free when you double click it it will launch uh, Adobe Extension Manager and uh, after which you will need to uh, close Dreamweaver reopen it uh, up again and you'll have the ZenCode plugin ready uh, working for you right um, at the same time, I uh, downloaded Zen Coding Cheat Sheets or Cheat Sheet, uh, and uh, you just need to Google it up, and you'll easily be able to grab the PDF file. Right. So uh, once we're actually done with the installing the extension or the plugin in Dreamweaver, well, then it's actually available inside Dreamweaver. If I go to commands out here, go to Zen coding. So this this option was not available earlier. If you, you know, if it's a fresh uh, Dreamweaver without any extension installed, you won't uh, find Zen coding uh, menu item out here with all these options that you see out here. All right. Now, as we said that you know, actually, uh, you will uh, rapidly quicken up the way you code out. And uh, let's straight away begin up with an example. Uh, let's say I would want to work with the HTML5. So all I need to do is just say HTML5 and then press the control key and the comma after that, making sure that the cursor is blinking extreme at the extreme end and people notice uh, the way. It will quickly uh, pop up the code, the most essential code that you need to work with HTML5 with the HTML5 doc type out here with the meta uh, tag out here, the care set attribute out here. Okay, now let me show you something. Uh, let me, uh, you know, temporarily delete the title tags out here and just write the word title like so. And if I were to just say control comma, you'll see that it'll balance out the title tag. Let me say control Z. But if I go out here and uh, then give it a value this way so you need the curly braces opening and closing and uh, my website your website his her website or whatever right just make sure that the cursor is blinking at the extreme end and uh, control and comma uh, this combination needs to be pressed and you'll see that not only the title tags are pushed in but some content is pushed in too right now the keys combination may differ for different uh, softwares. Control comma is the uh, combination for Dreamweaver. It for Coda for Sublime Text, uh, for Bluefish, or for Notepad++. Uh, plus plus. Uh, you know the uh, the key stroke combination may be different. All right. Similarly, if I uh, wanted to insert meta tag UTF. Uh, manually this is the way I'll actually do it meta colon pardon me UTF right and control comma so you not only do you get the meta tag with the uh, car set attribute you also get the content attribute and the HTTP colon attribute pushed in uh, like so alright let's say I would want to link it up or link my document up with an external style sheet and uh, it's so very simple so just say link colon CSS and uh, yep control comma and you can actually see that uh, we are able to then expand it 
just need to ex uh, you know replace this with the ext.css uh, file name or whatever is the file name in your case right now people if you remember i had inserted html colon 5 and uh, then i'd actually use the keys combination control comma simply by saying 4t out here and uh, then using Zen code uh, I can actually change the doc type to HTML 4.01 transitional let me say control Z or if I say 4s right and then say uh, control comma this time it will be 4 strict so you're not actually forced to work only with the, the HTML5 doc type you can change the doc type this way too nevertheless let's go back to our document okay so this is the way we have actually linked up with an external style sheet. How about an internal style sheet? So style tag, right, and control comma. So you uh, get the uh, type attribute and uh, the style tag is actually balanced out. How about a favicon? I don't know how many of you actually know what a favicon is. So there'll be link tag. Again, we use the link tag for inserting a favicon and favicon colon favicon right so control comma there you go so we have the relationship attribute as well as the type attribute and the href attribute automatically inserted how about the script tags to insert some jQuery or JavaScript that's pretty simple too so script and uh, control comma right or else script colon src and a control comma so you get the type attribute with the src attribute too cool cool very cool right uh, how about conditional style sheets so ie only conditional style sheets so cc and ie control comma now you can very clearly see that it's pushed in as a comment and that's exactly what you need to do when you need to push in uh, an RE only conditional style sheet. Okay, now the time is ripe that we leave the head of the document and go inside the body tags. That's exactly whatever you push inside the body tags people is what exactly is visible on the web page. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's see how we can actually insert the very basic div tags just need to say div out here and uh, yep control comma now that you're uh, used to the keys combination right or else I could have uh, simply used div with uh, an ID of wrapper control comma or else even simpler uh, what if I just do not use the uh, div word out here and simply use the ID wrapper now Zen coding automatically understands that uh, by default it will attach the ID to the div now that's extremely intelligent okay making sure that the cursor is blinking at the extreme end and control comma you see whether you mention the word div or not it automatically by default uh, use the div tag to attach the ID very, very cool let's say control Z and uh, how about uh, you know the div wrapper having inside another div with mm, the ID header plus as a sibling another div with an ID mm, how about content and as a sibling so uh, the main div will have the ID wrapper and which in turn will have three more divs inside header content and footer so div take your pardon div with an ID of footer all right control comma and quite clearly people uh, the main parent div or the outer div is the wrapper div which uh, encapsulates or surrounds or covers up three more divs which are uh, sandwiched inside div with an id header, the div with an id content and uh, the div with the id footer 
very very simple. Let's say let's get inside the uh, do with an ID content, and let's say I would want to push in uh, an unordered list uh, inside here. So if I go out here and use the greater than sign and say li, I'm actually uh, wishing to push in li items inside the parent element which is the ul unordered list okay but then I'm, I'm specifying that I would want five of them so into five and control enter so quite clearly people you can see that uh, I have five li items pushed inside the the parent uh, ul okay let's go back let's make some change here how about pushing in some content so I'm gonna go up after the li and use uh, the curly braces to push in some content like so make sure that uh, you press the end key B at you know the cursor should be blinking at the end of the line 18 or any other line where you want to use the Zen code control comma and quite clearly you see there is some content now uh, right let's say control Z okay and uh, how about uh, you know having the ul have uh, some attribute so we usually don't use uh, many attributes with ul but let's say i would want to use the title attribute out here so the you know the square brackets this time and title attribute let's say make the title attribute equal to um, how about unordered list that's exactly what it is right and make sure that the cursor is blinking at the extreme end control comma and quite clearly now the ul opening tag has the title attribute set to unordered list and uh, five li items which have um, some content let's say control z now i'm going to make some more change um, I'm gonna go up out here but it's uh, just after li and then dot class mm, one right and uh, now if I hit the control uh, comma you can see now every li item actually has the class class one how very cool and if I say control Z people and instead of saying um, class one I'm gonna say class dollar now the dollar is used to increment uh, something you'll understand what exactly I mean when I hit control comma and you see uh, the first li item has the class class one then it becomes class two then three then four and then five now uh, isn't that uh, cool all right so uh, very very cool people let me show you some more examples uh, let me first hit control enter out here and after the ul uh, element let's say I would want to have an anchor tag going so a control enter sorry it's not control enter it's control comma so control comma it expands like this let's say control z but if I say uh, blink and control comma this is the way it will actually expand very, very cool alrighty so uh, we can actually use Zen code uh, for CSS also but I personally don't like it because the code hinting with Dreamviewer as such is so powerful that uh, I would rather avoid it okay, but it's possible too nevertheless uh, I, I, my personal preference would be to use it with HTML uh, only not with CSS right now uh, let's give you uh, yet another example and this time let's uh, get inside the footer tag okay so let me be out here and let's type the word home about us portfolio and contact us every time I just hit the enter key people okay I'm gonna make sure I highlight bo you know all the four words like so this time 
I'm not going to expand them. I'm going to I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to go out here where it says commands, go to Zen code, and then wrap with abbreviation. Right. Uh, what do I want to wrap these words with? Let's say I would want to create links out of them inside a list. So I'm going to say ul greater than li. So basically, I'm looking to get li within a ul. And and then I would want to see anchor tags, which are actually links, right? And then use the word star. Star means um, for all possible entries, home, about us, portfolio, and contact us. Now, what will happen? We'll see that um, the links are pushed inside allies, which are then pushed inside the main parent, you will. So let's prove it to you. And let's say, okay people quite clearly I was right so we have the uh, parent element ul out here uh, then we have the li going I actually made a mistake it's not the way I wanted to see it let me just say control Z and uh, let's try it out again so commands Zen coding mm. a wrap with abbreviation so I would want ul greater than li and uh, how about let, let's simply uh, try the simpler option first li star and let's say okay yep uh, as you saw now we have four uh, you know li items uh, inside the main parent u well let's say control z and uh, commands encoding Wrap with abbreviation so U L greater than L I greater than A and then a star. I think this should work. So let's say okay. Exactly. Now we feel free to you know use the uh, href attribute out here. Nope. Again, it I'm you know uh, it got messed up. Wait a sec. So commands Zen coding and uh, graph with the abbreviation so you will greater than li I'm gonna make sure that I don't mess up this time and a now this should work yep <laughs> all good now so quite clearly this is exactly what I wanted to do right so how very effective Zen coding is people within no time you know I have a lot of content pushed onto uh, the coding area of free viva right and uh, uh, just to uh, you know recap or reiterate everything that you can easily get the cheat code uh, if you google it up uh, you can uh, get the Zen code uh, plugin not only for dream view but you can get it for coda you can get it for notepad plus plus sublime text etc right I've used uh, Zen coding with the bluefish editor 2.2.4 uh, inside Ubuntu, inside uh, Linux Mint and actually came ready with the software you don't actually need to install it, it comes uh, in built with the uh, Bluefish inside Linux and that was uh, super right so people I hope you found this uh, information very useful it's also available uh, for CSS people although I wouldn't like to use it inside Dreamweaver maybe you would want to use it with Coda right you can just explore that yourself so uh, I hope that I'll see you very soon. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.